Welcome to the 52 JavaScript projects in 52 weeks challenge. The project of the eighth week will be a height converter. All right, first you need to create your basic HTML structure as in every challenge. Also, as in every challenge, you will create a div with the ID. Can you get it? Exactly, container. <sighs> you will open this div and inside this div you will input um you will put in a input a input um input field you'll set its type to text also give it an id of input so now we have an input field where people can input their um height for example 180 centimeters or five feet or three th feet i don't know and they can choose between two buttons and if we if they click on a button for example convert to meter it will convert the input uh, the number to to meter and there next to it will be a button which will convert it to feet so you have just two buttons and two and one output one input two buttons one output so we will create these buttons now we will name it id meter and type onto the button convert to me meter we will right behind it create another button and we'll set the id to feet and type in convert to feet all right and also we will create a another input type uh, input field with the type text and also give it an ID of output. If we save everything and open up the file, you can see we have one input field. For example, we can type in five and it depends on you. If, we have, if you want to convert it to feet, you can type in five feet, uh, five meters, click on the convert to feet button and it will give you the, the, um, the five in feet. Also, you can, for example, say, oh, no, this is meter and I want it, uh, this is feet and I want it converted to meter. So you just press on meter and it will give you the, the converted, converted number. All right, right now nothing works because we didn't add any functionality or any styles. So that's why it also looks like S. And that's what we'll do. What we will, that's what we will do now. So first create the HTML file and uh, the oh, first style the html file as a whole set the background color to hashtag 3323 three, three, two. also set the height to 100 percent all right next you will style the container you can do this by typing in the hashtag and typing in the id you gave your div which is container so just type in hashtag container and now you can style the container. So set its tie a height to 200 pixels. Also set its width to 550 pixels. Set the background color to hashtag 45E4C3. And set the display to, to grid. If you're new to grid, you will love this because you can actually position everything as you want. It's perfect. And this, I mean, I will explain this in another video, but for now, just copy it and I will try to kind of explain it, but it's a bit much. But first, we will set the margin to zero and auto and also give this div a border of five pixels solid and the, f the color will be eight. 8b169 and if you save it and press f5 nothing happens because we forgot to actually link the style sheet so you will type a link rel style sheet also you will set the href which is the source to the name of your style sheet also do the same for your script uh, for your javascript file Type in script src and the name of your JS file and close it. If you save everything and now press F5, you will see we have a really big button and really big input fields. 
and they still do nothing. All right, so now um, what I want to do is I want to create um, a single input input um, input field at the at the at the top, two buttons which are right next to each other. So here will be convert to meter, and here will be convert to feed. And underneath all of these buttons, we will have the output where the actual converted number will be displayed. So to do this, we will first create the grid. I don't know if you can already see it, but yes, you can. As you can, as you can see, there are some these dotted lines. Oh, now you can see them. This is the grid. Right now, the grid has one one column and four rows. So one column and four rows. And now I want to create a a, a little grid where we can actually have m where we actually have more freedom to style everything. So we will type in grid template column and set um, the columns to one fraction i think it's fraction to four fractions i mean and now if we um refresh the page you can see we have four columns and no rows but these um we will create now grid template rows and we'll create one fr 50 pixel and one fr again so what this does it it creates three columns and the top and bottom column is a little bit bigger and the one in the middle is a little bit um, smaller. And now we will set the input field to be in the center, the, these buttons to be also in the center and this also to be underneath all of this in the center. So to do, to do this we will first access our input field, give it a height of 25 pixel because this is a little bit too, too, it looks ridiculous, let's be honest. So we set the height to 25 pixel, set the width to 250 pixel, and as you can see, it looks a little bit better now. We can actually already do it for the output also. Oh, output also. So just copy this, and now we have two smaller input fields. So now we will actually um, position this input field to be in the center. We do this by typing in grid column start. So at um, which, uh, which column we want to start the input field. So this is the first one, second, third and fourth. We want it to be from the, from the second to the third. So we will type in grid column start and grid column and four. What this does is, what the fuck happened? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, sorry, two and four. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. it's, it's kind of weird, but you have, wait, why doesn't, um, Oh wait, I don't think this is it, but all right, 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 right. Justify self center, also align self center. If we save it now, S hmm. I think it's because of these buttons. So let's just create, let's first create also the button and position them. So access your meter button by typing the hashtag and the ID behind it. Set the height to 25 pixels, the width to 125 pixels. And now we will set the columns, uh, the, the position. So grid column start will be two, grid column, grid, column and will be four. Oh no no will be three and the grid row so in which row it will start for example this is uh, the first row the second row and the third row and we want these buttons to be in the third row so we'll type in um in the in the second row I'm sorry Th uh, first 
second, third, and we want the buttons to be in the second row. So type in grid row start two and grid row and also two. Save it and you can see we have a meter button which is now it's it's kind of fucked now, but I mean it will look good, trust me. So let's just create the other button and 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 see how this will look like. Um, so also type in hashtag feed. Let's just copy all of this. But set this to three and four, and also set the output position to. I think it's two and four actually. Two and four and three is the row. Save everything and now look how awesome this looks. So what we did was we um, set the first input field to be to start at the, at the second column and end at the fourth. So one, two, now it starts, three and the fourth will be excluded. So when you type in four, it will actually choose the one right before the fourth, so the third. If I would have typed three, for example, it would just, okay, it would just fit into one cell. But if we type in four, it will nicely center. And yeah, and as you can see, this isn't completely centered because we forgot to actually type in justify self and align self. I, I think we don't even need align self. Yes, it, this looks better. But if we remove it here, I think it will look a little bit... Yes, it will just jump right up to the top. So we will keep this one. And now we have a nice base. And we're already finished with the CSS file. And now uh, I'm, I guess we could... Yeah, we can also style these because as you can see, this one is kind of out of bounds. So we will also add this to the buttons. Oh, all right, without align self. Yes, this looks good. It's kind of too big, but I mean, who cares, right? All right, so we are finished with the CSS now. And now we will add the functionality. So to do this, we will first need to create two variables. The first one will be the meter button, which is the button where it says convert to meter. And we will access, this by, access it by typing document get element by ID. And meter, I think, was the ID. Uh, yes, the ID of the button was meter. Also create the same same thing for the feed button. Well, feed button document dot get element by ID and feed. All right, we have those two buttons now, and now we will need to create an add. And now we will create an event listener for both of these buttons. So type in meter button dot add event listener get the click function comma function and open this bad boy up and inside this I mean we can f actually we can actually copy this and already type in th feed button all right so now we have these two buttons and if we click on them they will actually register so what we do now is we need to get the input value so when someone types something in here we need to get this value and we do this by typing in. So first we need to create another variable which will be input and we do the exact same thing as above. Type in the ID which was input input and at the end you will type in dot value. So now we can actually get the value if we can also test it by typing console log input and if we refresh and open up the console, we don't see, oh yeah, exactly, we, because we actually need to type something in. Yes, see, 
he got the value. So now it doesn't work for, for feet, but for meter. Now we need to do the exact same thing on the feet button. So now every time we type in a value and press this button, the button actually um, um, will save the value to this variable. And now we can work with this variable type by typing in document dot get element by id. We now don't need a need a variable. We will just type in output. So our J, JS file knows what he has to access, and it's this one, the output of our um, of our input field. And inside this input field, we will output the value. I mean, we will set the value, so we can also get we can get the value, and also we can set the value by giving it um, a value. For example, input. If we save this now, refresh, and type in five and convert to meter, you will see five here. If we type in fifteen, it will just change, and yeah. And now we'll just add a little bit of math, which is the um, formula to actually change feet to meter which is divided i mean number divided by 3.281 so what this does now is if you type for example you want to know the um the amount of meter for 5 feet you will just convert it and 5 meter is 1.5 feet i guess I don't know. I hope, but I guess. All right, and we can also type in plus meter. So he actually knows what he converted to. Oh, what is five feet in meter? All right, I fucked up. Um, uh, why? What's wrong? Hmm. Output value input. Oh, I, ah, I'm a fucking retard. I typed in multiplied, of course. Five. Oh, what's five feet in meter? It's 1.5239 and so on meter. Oh, what the fuck? Yes. All right. And now we do the same exact thing for feet. We will just change this little symbol to a multiplied by and change the text to feet. And all right, we can actually test this by typing in five. And for example, this is feet and we want to know the meter value. So five feet is 1.5 meter. We can actually test this by typing in five feet is 1.524 meter which is kind of true i mean it's pretty close and we can also test it the other way five meter would be 16.4042 feet which is right hey nice so this is it we're finished now thanks for watching if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe or comment down below and if you want to get the source code and build this project yourself or read this tutorial as a blog article, visit my website learn-webdev.com. Link is in the description.